Hi there guys, about to make my way to Newport County. Uh, yeah, obviously very excited, uh, completely new ground for me. So uh, looking to get a little bit earlier than the kickoff time, uh, try and get a feel for the area, that local area. Uh, hope to speak to residents there maybe, Newport County fans. Um, sort of get an idea of what their team's about and who to look out for as players when we play against them. So with that said, long drive to come and I've obviously got to drive it later after the game as well. So let's hope we at least get a result so I've not spent six hours on the road for a mucky result way up away from home, eh? I'll see you when I'm there, guys. See you soon. And we're in Newport, just like that. Magic. Mm -hmm. So, I've got here, lovely views, a lot better than Kent and London, that's for sure. Um, yeah, parking was easy. I'm in a dark car park, but um, get some shots outside soon. I uh, just want to quickly do a little video before I get to the grand, have a little look at the lineup. I was going to do it when I got there, but I thought, get it done now, sort of thing. So, I'm looking, you've got Ari Eisted in goal. Um, it's quite a strong lineup, actually. Just go through it. It's Mitchell, Ness, and Hector uh, playing, for, obviously, three at the back. Um, we've got Chin, get a look in tonight, that's good. Uh, McGrandles, Payne and Kamara in the midfield. And then I'm going to assume Eden, uh, left wing back, Carnu up top with Kirk. So it looks like he's playing Chin. So um, pretty strong lineup, all things considered, um, for a Cowboy Cup game. So it looks like he's taking, not taking it lightly. Uh, it's good that Kamara's playing to see how he gets on again. Because uh, he needs minutes in the legs, obviously, as the managers say. And the other one is uh, Teo Eden, again, minutes in the legs. Uh, see how he performs against the side that's, you know, the division below... So it should be quite a comfortable game for Eden tonight. Uh, but yeah, I'm curious to see how um, mainly Mitchell, uh, sort of Chin, and uh, McGrandles get on. I've, seen, I've had a look at the bench as well. Uh, so we've got Thomas, Anderson, uh, Taylor, which is good. Terry Taylor might get us looking tonight, which is a bit exciting to see him play. Uh, sorry, Blackett Taylor, Dobson, Campbell, May, and Maynard Brewer. So we've got a full strength on the bench as well. So it's a really good lineup tonight, actually. Um... I'm quite disappointed Egbo's not been started, and I imagine he will be as well, because if he's not getting a chance in a Carabao Cup against Newport County, then I, I know it's respect Newport County, but obviously it's a Carabao Cup League 2 team. So I'm, I'm just surprised that Egbo's not got the nods and that Chin has instead. I think he'd be pretty gutted with that. Um, not, not sure on that one. Anyway, enough said there. I'm just going to head to the ground now, uh, get a few shots of the ground, speak to some people. And uh, yeah, just go from there. Right, see you soon, guys. Charlton. Right, lads, introduce yourself. I'm Bradley. Bradley. Peter. 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 Pierre. Newport fans here. And what's your win tonight? Yeah. What's your record today? Scores, Two lads. One. Two one. Two one to the boys. Easy. Yeah. Who do Charlton need to watch yeah, out for? Trying to send you home a bit broken hearted. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Charlie? Who's the danger man? Who do Charlton need to watch out for tonight? The goalkeeper scored a goal. Do you know what? Our goalkeeper holds the world record. Oh come on! No. It is. <laughs> it's Bogle. Is Bogle playing for you tonight? No, it's not. No, no, He's no, injured. No, oh, okay. No. Fair news, lads. Right, enjoy the game. Cheers for your company, right? Good lads. See you later.
start work at um, Shit. Oh, 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 I start work at four in the morning. So, uh, I'll show them the To be honest, uh, one nil to buzz. Um, not much celebrations. I think a lot of the fans thought the goal was actually offside, but um, one nil anyway. Uh, Carnu, um, that's it. Proper uneventful. Literally, probably one of the most boring games I've been to away. Certainly. All right, chaps, introduce yourself. All right, I'm TJ. TJ, George, Zach. Lovely stuff. Right, one luck, one luck half time against uh, also Newport County away. What do you reckon so far? Been all right. <laughs> all right. Could have been better. Verdict. Could have been better, but cup game player. Did you catch the goal? Uh, yes. Well, not noise for was there. I feel like people thought it was offside, didn't they? I mean, I, I didn't really. I thought we missed, and I saw him. That's fair, do you? I couldn't tell myself here, to be honest with you. Lots of lines, man. Good help. <laughs> no, I'd say so. Bad, what do you reckon next half? What do you goals. Goals? Hopefully goals. I know it's only a cup game, but hopefully some subs. Who yeah. needs to come on to change the game then? I mean, Alpha Bay's obvious one, but I don't want to be coming off. Just in case, you've got a horror tackles out there today. New ball players. Not Dobson, but not Dobson. Fair loose, chaps. As we're at the season, what do you reckon? Where are we going to get this season? Where are we placing? Eight. Eight? Bloody hell. I'm going to go playoffs, but it'll happen. If it don't happen, it'll happen. We've got playoffs. Fair news. Right, cheers, chaps. TJ, George, nice one for that. Cheers. 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 Che
<laughs> Obviously 3-1, not a result wanted. Um, just shocking football, if we're honest. Um, just shit show top to bottom. They're way more dangerous than the break. But when I'm sitting down, I do a proper little analysis and actually talk about it properly. Newport, definitely worth the win. Um, I close it there. I sort of have a sit down later and go over it properly. But uh, there's a lot to discuss, I'd say, about that game. So I'll see you soon, chaps. Right, back from the game. Long, awful drive home for, I imagine, a lot of people last night. M25 closures, single lanes as usual. Tuesday night away games can always be a bit iffy. Obviously, I'm a bit more upbeat today because I've slept on it, gone to work and stuff. And in all honesty, it might be a bit of a blessing in disguise. And, and, and obviously, that's not, that's not sour, sour grapes. Uh, Newport County, well worth their win. Good luck to them for the rest of the tournament or cup run, whatever, you know, whoever they get. Good luck to them. Keep it short and sweet in regards to Newport. I think they've done something similar to Leighton Orient. Uh, what they, sorry, Leighton Orient done to us. Uh, they sort of pressed the midfield a lot. So every time our midfielders got the ball from the defence, there wasn't much going on there. Players didn't have a lot of time on the ball. And that's where I highlight Dobson from before against Leighton Orient. It feels like he did have that time on the ball. Whereas I didn't really see that from our midfielders. I think McGrand also, for the most part, was playing quite defensive. I think Kamara, for as much as he was dribbling quite well, he was having to turn back a lot because of their pressure. And Payne, he tried hard, but I don't think there was enough creativity from him to actually get things going. I'm not going to start slandering the team too much. Um, so that's the midfield out of the way. And in terms of our attacking threat, Kanu, similar to May, was all on his own. All long balls, sort of nullified. There wasn't much going on there up top. I'm not going to get stuck on Kirk too much. I just feel like it's a man whose his confidence is shot to pieces. You can sort of tell when you come to collect the, the throw-in towards the our, our crowd, like the away fans, he didn't want to look at us. I feel like he, I think he can sort of tell his numbers up, his, his, his days are up. I really, want it, I really want it to work for him, but he's just not, he's just making fullback's job so easy. Like he's, he's not going past people. He's not showing enough pace. He's not showing any urgency. Uh, I think there is a player in there. I just, I just don't think we're going to see it, unfortunately. I'll still say his close control was quite good throughout the game, but he just didn't offer us anything like like Corey Blackett Taylor does on that left hand side. And uh, in terms of our attacking outlets, Campbell got injured unfortunately, so a player we tried to rest has ended up injured anyway. So we may as well just played the full shrimp team and tried to get a result maybe. But that's it for the attacking uh, players up front. Terry Taylor come on uh, second half and it was with Carroy Anderson. Uh, Taylor had not not the best debut. Um, I feel like you can tell that he's coming back from a, a long-term injury and it's maybe going to take him a long time to mesh with the team. Um, some of his passes were promising. I think he got caught out a few times on the ball and again, that's just through lack of um, you know, lack of practice, lack of uh, match fitness. We'll go with that. Uh, on that note as well, I did manage to meet uh, Terry Taylor's mum in on the concourse. Um, tried to actually record her for a sort of interview at halftime and she obviously said she weren't a Charlton fan. Couldn't understand the word I was saying, like I can't, half the time when I watch these videos back. And um, yeah, she was really lovely, bless her. Uh, she said she was going to watch the channel. If you do, appreciate you watching. Um, yeah, I'll just sort of go through the pros and cons. So the drive there was pretty good. Nice sightseeing. Loved coming over the bridge into Wales. That was great. Uh, nice and easy parking. Nice and easy walk to the ground is what you want. Uh, the experience, it felt, I had the feeling of a, a friendly game to me. Uh, we didn't really see him up for it as a crowd, and nor did the players look up to it. And I'm not, I'm not blaming our fans, our fans, I've seen, I've seen us in great voice sometimes. But I think we feed off of the players a bit more, uh, and I just don't think the, the effort was on display with those players, per personally. The game itself was pretty torrid. Uh, fair play, Newport got the job done. Uh, hit, hit us on the break really nice and well, they were clinical. And they made our defenders look shambolic because our defenders were shambolic. They had a really bad game. Uh, so with that said, I'll sort of just move on to the cons. Didn't quite get as many uh, interviews as I'd like to have done. To those that did obviously accept uh, the interview and I got to question, I really appreciate it. Top blokes. Uh, in particular, the Charlton boys, obviously. Uh, really appreciate, appreciate your words. There weren't much to talk about, to be honest. Even when we scored, there weren't much celebrating because no one really knew if it was a goal. There was a lot of... Um, I think there's a bit of a disagreement whether it's a goal or not with the ref and the lino. So yeah, just just a very just just a flat game, and obviously the result did help either. And that's it really for the cons. Bad result uh, for those people I approach. If you do watch this, and I didn't get to talk to you as much, 
I still appreciate you for being uh, obviously open. Let me talk to you. It's that's nice enough to be honest with you. And if the chaps that were sitting either side of left and right managed to watch this, I enjoyed our little conversations during the game. Uh, great company. Uh, don't normally go to away games on my own, so it's quite weird for me sitting on my own without my cousin or or a mate. So um, yeah, it was really nice. Uh, with that said, I'm just just going to wrap it up there. Next game, Peterborough away. We'll see how it goes. I'd like to think that was a bit of a wake-up call for the defence and, you know, their capabilities, to be honest with you. And hope this all sort of sends a message to the board that we're not ready yet to uh, push on as much as we'd like to, to be honest with you. We definitely need a few more players in. So I'll see you at Peterborough. Hopefully we get the three points. We will see. But until that time, I'll see you next time.